the disease when you infect it for a long time without any treatment it can cause brain damage seizures even death so i'm going to explain this as following its complications its symptoms its causes and about its management the disease is meningitis is an inflammation of the membrane meninges surrounding your brain and spinal cord complications the complications of meningitis can be severe the longer you or your child has the disease without treatment the greater the risk of seizure and permanent neurological damage including hair loss memory difficulty learning disability brain damage gait problems seizures kidney failure shock death symptoms it's easy to mistake the early signs and symptoms of meningitis for the flu and influenza meningitis signs and symptoms may develop over several hours or hour one or two days the signs and symptoms that may occur in anyone older than age of 2 include sudden high fever severe headache that is not easily confused with other types of headache stiff neck vomiting or nausea with headache confusion or difficulty concentrating seizures sleepiness or difficulty waking up sensitivity to light lack of interest in drinking and eating tinnitus in some cases such as in meningococcal meningitis signs in newborns newborns and infants may not have the classic signs and symptoms of headache and stiff neck and still signs of meningitis in this age group may include high fever constant crying excessive sleepiness or irritability inactivity or sluggishness poor feeding a bulge in a soft spot on top of a baby head fontanel stiffness in a baby body and neck and vent with meningitis may be difficult to comfort and may even cry harder when pick up causes meningitis usually result from a viral infection but the cause may also be a bacterial infection less commonly a fungal infection may cause meningitis because bacterial infections are the most serious and can be life threatening identifying the source of the infection is an important part of the developing treatment plan bacterial meningitis acute bacterial meningitis usually occurs when bacteria enters the blood stream and migrate to the brain and spinal cord but it can also occur when bacteria directly invade the meninges as a result of an air or sinus infection or a skull fracture or rarely after some surgeries a number of strains of bacteria can cause acute bacterial meningitis the most common includes pneumococcus meningococcus haemophilus listeria viral meningitis each year viruses cause a great number of cases of meningitis than do bacteria viral meningitis is usually built and often clears on its own a group of viruses known as enteroviruses is responsible for most viral meningitis cases in the united states these viruses tend to circulate in the late summer and early fall viruses such as herpes simplex virus hiv mumps west nile virus and other also can cause viral meningitis risk factors which increase your risk or your child risk to develop meningitis the skipping vaccinations if you or your child has not completed the recommended childhood or adult vaccination schedule the risk of meningitis is higher in age most cases of viral meningitis occur in children younger than age 5 bacterial meningitis commonly affect people under age 20 especially those living in community settings living in a community settings college students living in dormitories personal on military bases and children in boarding schools and child care facilities are at increased risk of meningococcal meningitis pregnancy if you are pregnant you are at risk increased risk of contracting listeriosis an infection caused by listeria which also may cause meningitis if you have listeriosis your unborn baby is at risk to compromise immune system factors that may compromise your immune system including airs alcoholism diabetes and use of immune suppressant drugs also make you more susceptible to meningitis removal of your spleen an important part of your immune system also may increase your risk if you like this video click on the subscribe button for daily medical contents about disease and its treatment be safe and healthy